Yo, what's good? It's your boy. This is Galvin, episode 14 of my life story. I am always coming at you guys for some reason in some dark spot. I don't I don't know what it is. Um, it just so happens I, I get home kind of late, so this is when I have a chance to do this stuff. Um, but yeah, man, we're going to get into this. Episode 14, you guys remember where we left off before. Um, uh, so... And, and oh, by the way, you guys should be happy that I'm even. I'm, I'm not even. I'm not even really in the mood to even be doing anything right now. I kind of just want to play uh, maybe like some Battlefield or something, but I really don't even feel like actually recording anything. But I'm gonna do this because a lot, <laughs> a lot of y'all, <laughs> a lot of y'all had a problem with me um, with the way I ended the last one, considering you know the cliffhanger status and stuff like that. But we'll get right into it. So we left off where it was. Uh, Oh, and before before I begin, let me just tell you guys that this this story, this this particular what I'm about to tell you guys is very um, important event that actually happened because it led to a lot of stuff. So this one night is one of the most definitive uh, parts of this whole of this whole story. Like everything kind of pops off from right here. So here we go. We're in a car. We pull up next to some some Caucasian dudes. They're chilling over there. I told you what one of them said. I told you, yo, get the heat, son. I wasn't even really that serious. I was just kind of like, yo, get the heat. I didn't really think he'd actually do it. But he actually went into uh, and, 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 you know, grabbed my little BB gun thing, aimed it through, like, over my window, like, led, leaned over me, aiming out the window. They looked over, he's like, oh, you don't, you don't hear anything. You just see. That's what you see. You see, like, one of them in the backseat point, and he's, like, hitting the other dude in front of him, like... Go, 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 go. They look till he lets off. Pop, 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 pop. All you see is toom, 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 toom. It's like, there's like, you just see marks ending up on the windows. Next thing you know, the back window blows out. It blew out. I seen that. I seen that happen and instantaneously just took off down the hill. I, I didn't even wait for the light. I was just like, like I, didn't, I didn't even wait. I was just out. Took his shot. All the way, like, he was pretty much leaning over me, shot all the way back. So he hit, he, like, took out the back window, took out one of the passenger windows, and marked up the side of the car with just little-ass BBs. We took off dying, rolling. So, and I was young, and stuff like that was, you know, relatively entertaining to me. I was really on some live life on the edge type stuff. So, you know, I didn't really care about nothing. I, I, if I was with Mia... I was good. I didn't care about nothing, but I didn't want nobody disrespecting or anything like that either. So I, I got pretty pissed. So essentially we fly away down the hill. Um, at that time, I, I had an eclipse and my eclipse had like this wing on it, like this little like It was easy to identify my car because it had like some lights on it, street glow thing on it. It had like a little, like a little wing. It was nice. Um, we leave. We all go to the riverfront. Me, Zis, Tuggy, Ashley, Mia. We're all chilling at the riverfront. We're just having a good old time. We stayed there for mad long too. That night was we stayed out much longer than later than normal. Like we're just chilling. We're chilling. Everybody's having fun. We're talking about that joint. Um, you know, everybody's just chilling. We're like we're having fun. It was fun. And um, way, wait, late, late, late. It was had to be like four o'clock in the morning, which is normally a no no. I don't I don't usually do four o'clock because it's it's late. I usually want to get her back at two, three maybe tops, but four tonight. Um, so we're cruising back talking about that junk like blah 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 this is in the trunk he's in the trunk um he's in the trunk kind of like chilling because it was a hatchback um the, the, the girls at this point mia's in the front seat with me Tuggy's in the back seat no Tuggy's in the front seat still so Tuggy's still in the front seat we're driving back out of nowhere son we just hear it was like it sounded like um like tires burning out but you know n not hearing screeches like, almost like someone burning out on dirt. We hear this noise. I look back in the rear view. I see lights. Look like, uh... I can identify a lot of cars um, from their headlights in the rear view mirror. So, I seen that. I was like, oh, that, that looks like a... That looks like a... That looks like a cop. Sure enough. Whoop, whoop. I'm like, oh. Now, mind you, I learned a valuable lesson that day. Never, never, never. If you ever do something like, like that or something ridiculous like that, make sure that just in case you guys get caught, everybody has the same story. It was bad, man. I, I It was like, they pulled us over. 
He's like, you know why I pulled you over? I'm like, no. Oh, we got reports that blah, 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 blah. You know, something happened with uh, BB gun, this, this, and this. I'm like, um, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I... I don't know what you're talking about, essentially. That's what I told him. He said, all right, well, I'm gonna, I'm, let me, I'm, let me you step out the car, please. I didn't know my rights at that point, so I didn't know I didn't need to, um, you know, and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, I got out. He starts questioning me about what we did in the last 10, like, you know, hour or so. He asked me. I tell him, oh, we just chilling. I went and picked him up. We all hung out, and then we went to, the, you know, the riverfront and then came back here. Someone else was like, I think Ashley was like, oh, we, we were chilling, but... Um, we, we were all hanging out and then we seen some dudes in a car do something crazy and they, they, then they, they, they pulled off all crazy and then somebody else was like, oh, well, yeah, we were hanging out and where we go? Oh, we just went to a friend's house. All the stories were mixed up. So at that point, the cop didn't know what the hell was going on and he started really getting pissed off. Zis was still in the trunk and the cop didn't know. So a cop calls more cops, more cops come. Now they're like, oh, do you have anything we need to know about in the car? Blah, 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 blah. So he's like sitting there like, I'm looking at Tookie. I'm like, oh, man. I'm like, <sighs> I'm like, yeah, um, we have this, this, I don't, I, don't know, I don't know who brought alcohol in my car. I don't do alcohol. I never did. And, uh, you know, I never did then, like at all. Like I was like not on that alcohol stuff. I don't know who had it. I think Zis had brought it. I don't remember. I think he did. But it was under the seat. So he pulled it out and was like, yeah, we got this. And he's like, who brought that? I was like, me, because I was old enough, I believe, to, to buy alcohol at that point. And, you know, he took that. And then later on, some way or another, he, he found out about the damn um, BB gun. That sucked. And then he went and um, when he found out about the BB gun, it was a wrap. And he started, like, taking everybody out. He's like, yeah, you're going to get in trouble. I want to know who did what, blah, 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 blah. Somebody's going somebody's gonna to tell me what's going on. So he sat there for, like, an hour. Mad cops came. Eventually, Tookie just did some real, real G stuff and was just like, yo, it was me. He just took the rap for it. Not that he didn't do it. I mean, he did do it. She should have took the rap for it, but he was just on some everything was on him type stuff. Like, no one had anything else to do with it. He took that. They went and um, cuffed him. What? Why did I get cuffed? Hmm. I don't remember why I got cuffed. Um... I don't, I don't forget what it was. I guess I was because I was driving or something that I was associated, blah, 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 because they said I did it. That was my car, whatever. I got in trouble for it. The girls got arrested, too. They didn't get arrested. They just kind of got taken to the, the police station. And right before I got arrested, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, they're like, what's in the trunk? I'm like, people. Cop got mad pissed off. He's like, you heard what I said? I said, what's in the trunk? What's in the trunk? I'm like, I'm telling you, like, I'm like, like, like my, my friend's in the trunk. He's like, what? Four cops go in the back with guns out, guns drawn, <laughs> guns drawn, like, oh, slowly open the trunk. This is in there playing sleep. Like, so he's like, he acts like when they lift the truck up, he acts like he just woke up. <laughs> he's like, what's going on? And they like, they yanked him out the truck. They have guns, like guns on him. Get the fuck on the ground. Get the fuck on the ground. Like, they have him on the ground. Like, he's like, ah. Uh. So he gets screwed over. The girls already got took into the police station. I'm the last one to go. Car gets towed away. Um, they make this walk like 30 miles home. He's like, yeah, you, you have to walk home. Because he didn't get in trouble for anything for some reason. We go to the police station. Me and Tuggy are cuffed to some damn benches. And I'm just sitting there like, ah. Uh. And I hear Mia. And I hear Mia on the outside. And she's talking mad junk to the cop. She was on thug mode for some reason that day. I don't even know what the hell her problem was. She was on some real rebellion. She was rebelling hard that day. I don't know what her problem was. Her parents must have made her angry. I don't know. Regardless, she was on rebel mode. Her parents came. They seen her. She, they said something to her. She said something back to them. She got slapped. I heard it. I was like, Psh. And she just ate it. And I, and I, and I, I, kept, I heard her say something else after that. They were like, you came here with him, blah, 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 blah. You know, they, everybody spazzed out. Ashley's mom eventually came and got her. That was nothing. Ashley does this all the time. Me and Tookie are just sitting there, and I'm just sitting against the thing like, yo, son, this sucks. He's like, yeah, man. Like, this is this is, this is is pretty uh, this is pretty sucky. So we're just pretty much sitting there just like we can't do nothing. And what ends up happening is uh, Janelle, Janelle's dad ends up coming in the morning for me 
Tookie, I don't remember what happened. He got taken to he got taken to a different place because his his charges are a little higher. By the way, during that whole time, the cop was sitting in there drinking the liquor that we found in the car. Crazy, right? True story. He was drinking the liquor he found in the car. So anyway, Janelle's dad. Oh, where's my focus? Where's my focus? There we go. Janelle's dad's like comes and picks me up, bails me out because you know Janelle be riding, so she made her dad do that. Where was my dad at? Janelle's dad came and he's like, "Yeah, man." He talks mad funny. He's like, "Yeah, man. You got you out there enjoying me. I'm saying you can go home now." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go home." I'm mad, sad, cause I'm just wondering. The whole time I'm thinking about what the hell, what happened to Mia? What happened to Mia? What happened to Mia? Like, you know, like, did she get in trouble? Like, you know, what what's going on with her? I walk out, and as soon as I walk out, guess who's sitting on the steps? Guess who's sitting on the steps, though? Right in front of me, waiting for me to get out. You know who's sitting on the steps? Now, I'm not even going to cliffhang y'all like that. I'm not even going to cliffhang y'all like that. I, I will tell y'all who's on the steps, and I will pick up for the rest of the stuff next video. I walk outside, and Mia's mother is sitting on the steps waiting for me, waiting for me to come out. And we'll pick up next video. Like I said, that event leads to a lot of, 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 of stuff. So keep stay tuned. Come back. I believe this is episode 15. So um, episode 16, like I said, I'm going to try to get, the, get that done tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep it six straight and then a break. Um, so stay tuned. It's your boy, A-G. A-G-G-G-G. Um, yeah. All right, one.